are doing top five, bottom five Pat McGrath, where I share with you the top five products from the brand, as well as the bottom five products from the brand, in my opinion. If you're new here, I have tested pretty much every formula that Pat McGrath has come out with. So I do consider myself to be pretty well versed in the brand to be able to do this video. And if you aren't new and you watch all of my Pat McGrath videos, there will be nothing surprising in this video. So I wanted to do a recommendation slash not recommendations video for people that might be new to the brand because right now, if you are watching this, the Black Friday sale is going on and it's the best sale of the year that she's had so far other than the glitch. But if you miss that, you missed it and it won't be happening again. But if you spend $50, which is very easy to do, you will get 30% off. If you spend $150, you'll get 35% off. And if you spend $250 or more, you get 40% off your order, which is absolutely insane, which is why I wanted to do a recommendations video and kind of a guide to the brand. I also heard some of you guys said you were able to stack discount codes. It worked for some people, it didn't work for others. I think Nirvana 10 was one, Holiday 10, so if you know of any, comment it down below and try it out at checkout to see if you can get an additional percentage off. But if you're gonna get Pat McGrath, a sale like this is the best time to get it. And if you're watching this in the future and the sale isn't going on, keep this for reference. As far as the Black Friday sale, I don't know when it's ending, but I'm gonna say it's probably gonna go on until Cyber Monday. And then Cyber Monday for the last four years, she's done a crazy lip sale. Like a couple years ago, it was lipsticks and lip glosses were $11 each, which is crazy. I think it was a little bit more than $11 this past year, but I don't know what it's gonna be this year. Everything has gone up in price, but in the previous year she had lipsticks and lip glosses for a crazy price for her Cyber Monday deal. So maybe hold off on buying lip products for this sale, but 40% of it's still really good. Anyways, if you spent $250. Let's go ahead and get into the video. I've talked your ear off enough. We're gonna do one top, one bottom, one top, one bottom. So let's start off with the first top product, which is of no surprise. Let's get the obvious out of the way. The number one product, in my opinion, that a starter to the brand should try out is a big mothership palette. We're talking the $128 palette. It's very easy to hit that 40% if you just put a couple of these in your basket. And with 40% off, that's super good. So we'll start off with the one that I'm wearing. You know, which palette I recommend really does depend on what your makeup preferences are. But these are three really basic ones that I think are good for beginners. The first one, if you are a neutral wearer, this is the perfect palette to start off with. This is the Divine Rose one. And this is as neutral as a pat palette has gotten. It has those mauve undertones. It is the palette that I'm wearing on my eyes today. Very simple, beautiful, everyday look, easy to do. So for today's look, I started off with this matte dark brown color in the outer corner, and then I blended it out. It's a very high quality matte, so it was able to be the only matte used in today's look. And then I went in with this shade right here, which is a peach golden rose shade. It has a shift to it. And this was the focal point of today's look. I just put it all over the entire lid. And then I used just a dot of the sparkle shade, which is very special to Pat McGrath, in the center of my eyelid to add a little bit of gleam. Then I used this shimmery white shade on the inner corner and underneath the brow bone, and then I didn't show this on camera, but I did go back in with this matte brown with an angled brush, and I just created my eyeliner with it, and such a beautiful palette. Again, if you don't like colorful shades or anything crazy, this is a great one to go for. I'm counting all of these motherships as like one of the top five, but I'm just giving different color options here. Divine Rose 2 is another great one. This is one where it came out, I wasn't that excited for it, but it ended up becoming one of my most used palettes. So this one is much more punchier than Divine Rose 1, but it still isn't crazy, but it does have options for you to really amp up the look. If you have a deeper skin tone, this one is better than Divine Rose 1. If you ask me, it will really pop against your skin tone. And you can go a few different directions with this. You can go rose, you have really fun pops of gold here as well. You can go neutral, but you can 
can also go bright with this palette. So I think that this is a great one. Initially, when this first launched, I probably wouldn't have recommended it in this video, but it ended up being one of my most used, so that's important. And then probably the one that I recommend the most, there's a reason this one is sold at Sephora. It's because it's a bestseller and it makes the most sense for the largest majority of people is the Bronze Seduction Palette. Now, I love this because you can get everyday looks, you can get really rich looks, smoky looks, evening looks, everyday light eyes, glittery eyes. This to me is the best curation ever that Pat McGrath has done. In terms of appealing to the mass market, it's the best. This is the number one palette that I recommend. It is stunning on deeper skin tones. It's stunning on all skin tones also my favorite favorite one so those are my top three colors but of course go through the list see what you're attracted to what you think you will wear the most but those are just my recommendations now let's go to a bottom option <laughs> which is also a pat mcgrath mothership i wanted to give you one that i wasn't the biggest fan of this is a bottom five product for me and it's not even bad but the mothership i don't recommend is the mothership decadence palette the reason being it doesn't have the special shades that pat mcgrath is known for so why would we pay so much money for a palette that doesn't have that that being said this palette is really beautiful it has such rich creamy pigmented shimmers that really pop against the skin it's gorgeous but it lacks what we pay for in the mothership palettes which are the four shades over here that are really glittery galactic shifty we don't have any of that you have 10 very 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 solid shimmers in here so don't get me wrong it's not bad quality but it's just not like the other Mothership palettes, as well as I find it difficult to feel inspired by this palette. I've created beautiful looks with this palette, but in terms of grabbing this and getting an all-in-one look, this isn't the best palette for that. This is all shimmers. So this is a Mothership palette that I really don't necessarily recommend. On to another top product, and uh, this one, easy, no-brainer. Pat McGrath has a top three concealer I would say I don't know it might make it to the first place of my all-time favorites but this is the skin fetish sublime perfection concealer I love it so much I have it in three different shades I'm currently wearing LM9 and there is just something about the finish of this concealer on the skin and normally when it comes to concealers I prefer a really liquidy thin consistency this one she thick but it just looks so good on the skin, I don't care. It gives you full coverage. I sometimes will even use this as foundation, or if my foundation looks dry in a certain area, I will put this on top of that area, and it will instantly add hydration back to the skin. So for it being so thick, it still looks super hydrating and smooth on the skin. So many of you guys love this concealer. It's extremely popular because it is that good. So I had to recommend one of my all-time favorite concealers to you guys, because it's that good. All right, another bottom will go to a complexion product as well. This is the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Primer. I've talked about this a lot because it's the only true makeup primer that Pat McGrath has in her line. I just find it to not do anything. So for me, the one huge flaw about this is the packaging. Pat McGrath is known for luxury packaging. You pay that price point to get luxury packaging and it's, it's cheap, it's plastic. It has this paper that comes off for everybody very bad packaging and the product itself does not work on my skin type which is more dry I will say and I said this in Monday's video my mother who has oily skin swears this makes her makeup last longer so she says it works for her and she likes it I personally have not found that it does anything for me so I don't recommend it on to the top again. This is top number three, and this is in no particular order. This is the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder. This is the best pressed powder I have ever used. There is not a pressed powder that is more smoothing and lightweight 
than this. So what makes it special is how smoothing and blurring it is, but also how it's lightweight. So I have mine in two shades, a light that I use for my under eyes and medium that I use for all over my face. This is intended just to be an under eye setting powder, but it's so good, I use it all over my face. The thing with this, it shatters so easily. If you travel with this, there's a high chance it will completely turn to dust. It is so good that I don't even care. These break, I repurchase them. They make my face look that good. So these to me are a must have if you're looking for a good lightweight setting powder that's really blurring and will blur all of your problems and fine lines away. I recommend this one. Bottom number three, we have this one right here. This is the Skin Fetish Highlight and Balm Duo. Now I didn't demo this because the highlight side is dried out. I only use the balm side for literally hydrating my lips is what I used it for today. I've just never been keen to this product even when it wasn't dried out. I don't like cream highlighters. I didn't find this one to be special in any way. It's an expensive highlight. You can get better at a better price point. It's not a bad product, it's just one that I never cared for. I never really liked, it never stood out to me. It's a bottom product in the brand. The balm side's a little odd to use other than for me for hydration purposes. And the highlight's just okay. Nothing really stands out about it. So that's why this one is a bottom for me. Top number four, we have the lip liners. If you have not tried a Pat McGrath lip liners, these are game changing. So they apply so creamy to the lips, there's no drag at all, but it's one of the long lasting lip liners I've ever used. I find with creamy lip liners, they tend to not last as long, which defeats the purpose. But this is the golden exception. Seriously, one of the longest lasting and an amazing color range. So the ones I swatched for you were Done on Done, buff, contour, and supernatural. And the one that I'm wearing is supernatural. So these four are my favorite neutral everyday lip liners that just tend to go with the typical lipsticks that I wear and put on top. I have a whole collection, such a great formula, top notch, one of the best on the market. I know Pat McGrath is expensive, but she has some products that I genuinely think are the best of the best on the market, and these are one of them. Bottom number four <laughs> is another lip product. These are the Liquid Lust Legendary Wear Matte Lipsticks. So these are liquid lipsticks. I strongly, strongly, strongly dislike this formula. Now the formula of it is so extremely thin, which normally I would like, but because it's so thin, it really emphasizes every single line on the lips, which makes my lips look very pruned and not cute. If you have lip filler and you don't have lines on your lips, I don't think you'd have an issue with these because of how nice and lightweight they are. But if you have lines on your lips, this is the most unflattering liquid lipstick. Oh my goodness. Now today, in my demo, it wasn't that bad because I put the balm on my lips from this guy right here. And so it, it looked as good as it could. But if you don't put that balm down first, it is going to not be very flattering. So unfortunately, I really don't like these at all, which is a shame because the colors are gorgeous. Okay, guys, time for my last top product. Top number five is the Lust Lip Glosses. Pat McGrath has my number one favorite lip gloss formula. They are comfortable, they are not sticky, they are long wearing, and they make your lips look so much more plump. They don't have a plumping element to them, but because they have a thicker consistency, they glide over the fine lines of the lips to just make them look super smooth and plump, as well as the shine of them will make your lips look plump. There's not a color I do not own. When they have the Cyber Monday 11, 12, 13 dollar lip sales, I stock up on these lip glosses because they are the best. Currently, I am wearing the shade Blitz Gold, which is a glittery shade, and you'll see how well the glitters stand out on the lips. There are not a lot of lip glosses that can do this and have that sheen. My favorite ones that I swatched for you, these are like my most worn every day. They don't have shimmer in them. Well, Dare to Bear does, but the other are flat colors. Dare to Bear is that shimmery one on the top. 
then faux real, then aphrodisiac. These are really neutral everyday colors, very flattering with every eye look, but she has colors for every situation. This one right here, Astral Moonflower, is a blue. I have a ton of glittery shades because she also has mastered the glittery lip gloss formulation. Literally, all I have on is a little bit of lip liner around the edges and that gold blitz, and it's so stinking glittery. A must-have I like these better than Fenty. I like these better than Dior. I'm pretty sure. It's close, but I'm pretty sure these are my number one favorite lip gloss. The best. And the last bottom product, bottom five. I don't have it with me because it dries out so quickly, so I don't have one to demo for you, but it is the liquid eyeliner. Now, the reason I don't like this is because of how quickly the liner dries out and you have to go out and repurchase. I've been through like three of these and I got tired of having to repurchase them because they are not cheap. Now, the eyeliner itself, very nice quality. It's a nice super black eyeliner. I don't find that it smudges, but the value of it really, really drops with how frequently you need to buy it. I just think you can get much better eyeliners at a better price that aren't going to dry out super quickly. And Pat McGrath isn't exactly the most readily available brand. I mean, I know you can pick it up at some Sephora's, not all, but other than that, they're an online-only brand, really. So I don't recommend this eyeliner. It's really disappointing to me how quickly it dries out because it is a very nice formula. So there we have it. Those are the top five, bottom five from the brand, in my opinion. I also wanted to do an honorable mention section. This is for the current moment of the current sale that they're having, the deals that are really good. The holiday collection that came out is 30 to 40% off depending on how much you spend. So I definitely recommend picking that up because it is limited edition otherwise and such a good deal. You can buy the whole collection and with the discount, I think it's only $200 which is crazy. So an honorable mention in general is just any kits. Those are already discounted. And then if you can get an additional discount on top, what a fantastic deal. So I mentioned the everything kit for the Celestial Nirvana collection. I also thought that these blush duos were a great deal. So she's selling these blush duos together. I think it's $100, but then you can get them for around $60, which is $30 each, which I mean, a blush palette from the drugstore is like $20. So that's a steal of a deal because if you like Pat McGrath blushes or you want to try them, this is the best value to try them. I really enjoy the Pat McGrath blushes. These palettes that came out for the holidays, so they're limited edition, come with four blushes, some are in the permanent line, and one highlight. So if you can get this set for $100, meaning if you spend $250, then you get them for $60, you get eight blushes and two highlights. That is such an incredible deal, and you get kick butt formula. These are the OG original formula. They aren't changed. You get a variety in shades. The blushes are long lasting and beautiful. And then so is the highlighter as well. So that is a seal of a deal as well. The Celestial Nirvana Quince are incredible. These are my favorite. I like this the most out of the Pat McGrath collection and the holiday collections in general because the quality is so good. And then of course the Mothership Mega if you want to get a lot of shades from Pat McGrath at a better price. I can't believe this is on sale. Or maybe you didn't want to pay full price for this because this is quite colorful. This is a good opportunity to pick that up. So those are honorable mentions of what is good right now for this sale to pick up. Very exciting. And there we have it. Those are my top five, bottom five from Pat McGrath. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. I will have links down below to everything that I talked about and I'll link just to the website as well. Those are affiliate links, meaning I do earn a small commission, but if you would like to support, I would really appreciate it. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.